माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स असलम आलैकुम आई होप ऑल आर यूर फाइन आई एम रिसिफत रहमान लेक्चर डिपार्टमेंट अफ आई सी टी महाराष्ट्र कलेज एवरीबडी वेलकाम टूडेज माई आई सी टी क्लस लेट्स स्टार्ट आई सी टी क्लस आई शल डिसकस टूडे ए क्रिएटिव कोश्चन इस कोश्चन इज दूज नाइनटीन from rajshahi board first of all carefully read this question and solve each question one after another okay carefully read this question hash include stdo.h main first bracket close second bracket int as a s equal 0 for a equal 1 a less than equal 3 0 a plus equal 2 second bracket a equal s plus a second bracket close print f percentage d s question number 1 this question is the segment of knowledge marks 1 what is a reserved word question number 2 marks 2 explain k plus plus n plus plus k this is the segment of analyze realize and question number 3 question number 3 marks 3 draw a flow chart for the stimula this stimula this stimula and question number 4 whether the stimula program use a while loop analyze it this stimula read carefully and analyze the answer using while loop just convert this for loop to a while loop okay now discuss question 1 by 1 question 1 what is a reserved word answer is reserved word or keyword are the number of reserved special words used in the program each keyword has a specific meaning and performs a specific function in the program that means reserved word is a special word perform a specific function it's enough for one marks okay question number 2 explain k++ and ++k k++ is called postfix 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 first assigns the value of the left edge variable then then increases the value of the operand by 1 plus plus k is called prefix the prefix first adds 1 to the operand then assigns the result to the left end by variable and now for example for this postfix and prefix let's see an a example for your clear understand for example in case i in case i equal 4 and j equal i plus plus the value of i will be 5 but the value of j j will be 4 again if i equal 4 and j equal plus plus i is a written then the value of both i and j will be 5 that is by adding 1 then assigns the result to the left as variable postfix on the other hand first assigns a value to the left hand variable then increases the value of the operand to 1 now if i 
postfix and prefix write a c code and the shown the result i think it's a clear and transparent how it works but the answer is marks too the answer is if you write the answer without example you obtain marks too question number 3 draw a flow chart for the stimulus this stimulus okay first of all answer is start start means hash include a studio dot h main second bracket all of them are based on start this is start and int s there is the mind this program a s the both are variable two variable used in this program the s value is 0 and a value is 1 the initial process is here processing box s equal 0 and a equal 1 then the check area a less than equal 30 the check box or diamond shape box you know how to write this condition find this condition in this program inside of for loop for a equal 1 l is then equal 30 so this condition is same as in the flowchart l is then equal 30 then if yes condition satisfy a is equal s plus a this statement s equal s plus a right and another statement is remaining from this stem the stem was a plus equal a plus 2 and a plus 2 roll back to this check area until this checkbox is not satisfied if no only the print s that means print s and end if you write this flowchart appropriately and obtain three marks okay now goes to question number four this is the your skill segment question whether the stimulus program uses a while loop analyze it this is stimulus so again you carefully read this stem hash include studio dot h main int s s equal 0 for a less than 1 this portion is carefully read this for loop a equal 1 a less than equal 30 a plus equal 2 and the question and and s equal s plus a and print f percent is d s the answer is the stimulus program can be created using the while loop as follows that means hash include studio dot h main the same as for loop and second bracket int s same as int s as the stem s equal 0 and a equal 1 the both two types variable use this stem a and s and this value s initial is value 0 and a equal 1 and after that this for loop converted to the while loop while you know while loop always in program inside the program run satisfy this condition if satisfy this condition then goes to another statement while loop first bracket where they found this condition you found find this condition for a less than equal 30 this is the condition so same condition right inside the while loop and start second bracket for the statement first statement is a s equal s plus a and second a statement is a plus equal to a plus equal to and printf percentage d s is the last portion same as printf 
some percentage d s if you write this c code appropriate converted to for loop to while loop you obtained marks 4 you will get marks 4 out of 4 okay always write c program carefully uh, semicolon first bracket second bracket <laughs>